Hey yo, what's crack a lackin' everybody? Your boy Bong is back and today I have a very special video for you guys. So, I got tagged on this post on Instagram a bajillion times, alright? When this came out, I said, you know what? The Baker's man's gotta do it. So first and foremost, shout out to every single one of you guys who did show me out and did show me this video on Instagram. And if you guys are on Instagram and you see some new giant bangers, you guys should be tagging me and saying, yo, Baker's man, you should be doing that. That'd be stuff. So, what are you doing? Do this instead, Jin. And trust me, the boy Bongo's gonna do a better version anyway. For today's DIY giant banger, we are doing none other than the whoa, 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 whoa. You mean for today's DIY giant banger, yeah. We're doing hostess cupcakes, yeah. Jano, yeah, is in the building. Hey! hey, 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 hey. <laughs> That's right, guys. We are doing a DIY giant hostess cupcake, yeah, and. It's gonna be the best cupcake you ever seen. It's gonna be the biggest cupcake anyone's ever seen. But before we get started, we gotta check out what we're dealing Bro, with. Bro, these are my favorites. Oh, that one's kind of mosh up. Yeah, grab another one. Yeah, yeah, we need another one. Bro, these oh, are my favorite desserts, bro. You know Munch them in bro? one bite. They're vibes, but I swear the swirlies back in the day were more swirly. This is like some lazy money. Yeah, yeah, bro. Our swirls are gonna swirls. be fire, bro. We're not playing around with these swirls. Anyway, what do we got going on here? So pretty much, guys, a hostess cupcake. All right, for those who don't know, because every oh. time I said hostess cupcake, people looked at me funny. Like, what's that? Guys, it is a big dutty cake, all right? In the middle of it. Oh, Ooh. some marshmallow icing vibes, eh? Bang, every single time. So. I'm ready, Jono's ready, if yeah. you guys are ready, smash that like button. <laughs> oh. Let's get the lights going, baby. For the bakers, man. And without any further ado, let's get into this giant DIY. Alrighty, so step one in this DIY giant big banger is obviously some Betty Crocker cake mix, all right? Now, this is the simplest way to do it. So, we are gonna do it this way so that you guys at home can follow along. We're not gonna do some crazy recipe, we are gonna do some little bit of mixing, all right? This is a little bit of bacon 101 for your boy Bongizi. Open up the bag of cake mix, all right? Carefully. Oh, if that was me, it would have gone everywhere. No, those guys, carefully dump it in here. Some vibes, some vibes, all right? So we're gonna do two bags at a time, maybe even three, because what we have going on here, guys, is a bunch of different trays, all right? So we got two identical trays and one that's a little bit bigger and dutier, all right? Now, what I'm gonna do is once we bake these cakes, we're gonna bake them up, so I need a lot of cake mix. So here we go with the second bag here, guys. Nah! Another one. Here. Are, All the, right. are these cakes hard to make? These cakes are very simple to make. Essentially, guys, we're using two boxes right now, so that's gonna call for six eggs, all right? So here we go, we're gonna start cracking up some eggs. But before we actually get into the egg process, we're gonna grab a little whisk here, and we're just gonna whisk up the powder itself. That way we can break up the little particles that have been clumped together in this dutty box. We're trying to get some nice cake out here, right? Some nice devil's food chocolate cake, yeah? So here we go, a nice little whiskers. Boom, 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 boom. Now, we take our eggs, boom. We need six in this. Here we go. Nice and simple, all around. Crack, voila, one. Yeah. Yo, Jado, give me your waviest crack. Let's see this. Oh, baby! Nice little splitter, buddy. You bunch. guys don't even know. <laughs> oh, I screwed mine up big time. But Jad is also holding the camera, which is insane. <laughs> He's manning the camera and dishing out the eggs. All right, last egg here, guys. Now, we need some milk. He needs the milk. milk. On the box it says use water or milk. I like to use milk only because I think it makes the cake a little bit fluffier. Theory goes if you use milk, the cake's fluffier. It's a little bit richer, tastes a little bit better. That's what my mama said. So I'm gonna I'm follow her words and we're gonna do this correctly. So we need a cup and a half of milk per box. That takes us up to a nice three cups, but there's only two cups in this. So I'm gonna go up to, do do do, do here. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay. Also, what we need is a little bit of vegetable oil. I'm gonna use canola oil because it's way better than vegetable oil. I am old. So, we need a cup of this. Lots of liquids going into this today. So here we go, we're gonna pour this up. Oh, come on. Oh, that's bare oil. That's bare oil. A cup? Come on, my guy, all right. 
<laughs> you know? All right, I guess. All right, <laughs> if you say so. All right, now, you guys have seen this in the previous episode. Things can get crazy. So if you guys are doing this at home, make sure you do have a parent supervising, not just because you could get hurt, but because you might make a mess in their kitchen and they might be a little angry. And parents are way right? better at cleaning than kids are. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, so we are plugged in. And I'm actually just gonna give it a nice little mix first. Oh. That way, I start the dough process before I'm actually. This guy's a genius, bro. The vibes, you know. So that it doesn't way, go zooked out of nowhere. Go zooked mode. All right, we, we're gonna give this a nice little spin. Get the dough batter process, this cake batter vibe. All right, now on some slow. Ooh. Okay. Right. On some slow vibe. On some quick little slow vibes. So we'll catch you guys back when there isn't a dozo going hamzo in my hands though. Yeah, bozo. Bozo. Alrighty folks, so this step, now that we got the batter, we have our two identical trays. What we want to do is grab our pen. And you already know what it is. You gotta go ham. Here! Here! Yeah. Make sure you guys are going ham with your pan. Yeah. Alright, that's a good coating on that guy. Nice coating. Guys, and the more Pam you put, the easier the cake is gonna pop out. This is a major key because we wanna take the cake out of the tray once they are baked. We got our Pam in our cake pans. Here we go, with the first batter. Okay, okay, okay. It looks like we need to make more cake mix. So guys, I am gonna pour the remainder of the batter into this tray and just gonna let it sit while I whip out some more. Oh, you see Jetto coming in with the assist. Look at this guy with the spatula work. Come on, folks. Incredible. Incredible, I'm gonna make some more cake batter. I'll see you guys in a bit. We got more cake mix. Alrighty, folks, so just like that, some more cake batter. Vibes, put this on the side, don't get anything dirty. Pour this in carefully. Okay. Now this layer guys, we don't want it to be as thick as the middle layer because that's going to be the bottom and the middle layer we want it to be a little bit thicker because that's where we're going to put our DIY stuffing in it. It's so not fluffy. And it fluffs up. So we do have to fill this guy up with the batter, but before we get this guy in there, we are actually going to place these guys and get these guys going. I'm going to put them up at the top level and I'm going to swap them over into the middle halfway through but I'm going to close this guy up. This has to stay in there for about 30 minutes or when you can poke a toothpick in there and get no bits on it, you are good to go. Here! <laughs> Here! It's funny to have friends like you Bongo because you're the only person I can talk like this with. Here! <laughs> oh. Bro, you made so much cake in like two so minutes. Much cake out of that. And it was very easy to make. Really. Very easy. So easy. All right. And I bet you they're gonna be bangers taste. Like they're gonna taste really good. They're probably gonna be bangers. Alrighty, folks. So again, a big dutty bowl so of much. cake batter. Here we go. Cue the sexy chocolate music, boy. Here. So I think this pan is gonna take literally our entire batch of cake batter, and we got the perfect more? amount. Oh, look at these bad boys. They're already cooking up a storm in here. Oh, oh this, look at that. I wish you guys could smell that, holy yeah. smokes. I love chocolate cake, bro. It's my favorite type of cake. All right, so Let's go. that is now in there. We're gonna give it some time for it to bake up, and we'll check up on this guy in about 20 to 25 minutes. I think I wanna challenge myself to not waste his DIY and eat as much of it as I possibly can because I love chocolate cake and marshmallow. It's gonna be a banger amongst all bangers. Right? It's gonna be a banger amongst all bangers. It's gonna be a pretty big banger. Alrighty folks, the moment of truth. We are oh. about to open up on these cakes and see what the heck has been going on. Yo, my on. man's about to shank the cake. And yeah, I got this uh, nice little toothpick majiggy also for the argile doubles up, but here we go. Oh, oh. look at the cakes, baby. Look at the cakes, oh. all right. So I'm gonna take this first cake. I'm gonna take my argile poke. I'm just gonna poke it in the middle, see what comes out. Oh. You're chilling, that's higher than the Sahara. All right, next cake, let's see. In the middle, or no? Ooh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, feel flesh. All right, so those two are done. I'm gonna leave them in there for two more minutes just to make sure that they are fully cooked. And now this one, oh yeah, see this one? Stuff's coming out. This, guy, this guy's gotta stay in there for about 10 more minutes. All right, as you can Ooh. see, the big dutty top piece is ready. Incredible. That can come out and post you in here. So, oh. as you guys can see, we have one, two, three 
big dutty chocolate cake. Now we're gonna let these guys cool down so that we can start working with them. Essentially what we're gonna do is now we are gonna compile a giant cupcake and form a nice circular middle in the inside <laughs> so we're, so we can put our fluffy DIY marshmallow icing yay. Smash that like button. <laughs> Alrighty folks, so we have our cakes, they are cooling down. It smells delicious in the Alvo house right now. Usually, it smells delicious anyway. But today, it smells like chocolatey goodness because the baker's man is up to something. Our next step in this DIY banger is obviously to make the marshmallow filling itself. So what we have here is a big dutty jug of marshmallow fluff, all right? Now there is jet puffed and you guys can get other stuff. Puffs. Marshmallows in the building because we got marshmallow ice cream, but it's not ice cream. It's icing. Okay, so first step guys is to take the marshmallow fluff itself. Here we go. The fluff is coming out. Look at that fluff working. Baby. It looks bare sticky. All right, now that we have our marshmallow in the bowl, what we now want to do is add some icing sugar. So I'm going to break it up a little bit because there are a little bit of clumps in here. I'm just going to get it nice and soft here. All right. Now, I'm gonna add some icing sugar in here. I'm just gonna free eye this, all right? Because at the end of the day, your boy Bongiz, he's done this a one-two time. And this ain't rocket science, all right? We're just making some simple icing here. So we're gonna grab some butter so we can make a nice butter icing with my spatula because I did let this sit overnight. It's gonna be nice and easy. I'm gonna use half the stick of butter here. Oh, nice. Some vibes here. Now guys, the next step is to take our mixer yet again and insert it into the butter slowly and stir very slowly, whipping up the marshmallow and the icing all oh. together with the <laughs> butter. I added the rest of the fluff container because I needed a little bit more marshmallow and I added a little bit more icing sugar so I can finally get this nice dutty icing. Look at it, oh it's nice and gooey and marshmallow. It's actually moving really, really slow. So, our cakes are almost nice and cool. We are almost ready to compile this DIY giant hostess cupcake game. Smash that like button. Alrighty guys, so we have left the cakes to cool down. They are nice and cool. They should be able to pop right out of our trays. It is about this time where we start compiling these three pieces of cake so we can make one DIY giant hostess cupcake game, did yeah? All right, so we want to start with the bottom. So what I want to do is I have my cutting board here. I'm going to put it on top first. Slide Ooh. it off my rack, flip it, you see the vibe? Yeah. Yeah, comes out like a vibe. Ooh. Now this, gotta be super delicate with it. Oh, it's nice and moist on the bottom. What's guanin? Very moist on the bottom. All right, cool. All right, so what I wanna do now is with a bread knife, pretty much guys, I just wanna take this top layer. So you want it to be flat, like flatten it out? Yeah, for the first one. The bottom, bottom layer, I want it to be completely flat. So here we go, I'm just following the lines. Oh my them up. goodness. That can go on there. All right. So, it's pretty damn now good. we are dealing with the bottom of our DIY giant cupcake. Game. All right. So, boom, we got the bottom. Now, we need the middle part. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a little workstation right on this side with some parchment paper, all right? Some classic parchment paper. And I'm going to move the bottom one. Here we go. Grab this guy. Flip it carefully. Oh, some butt. All right. Now, so what we want to do is cut open the middle layer here so that we can create a hole so that we can fill up our cupcake with the filling and that our bottom layer that is flat lines up perfectly with this flat layer that we created. You see the vibe? I see the vibe. But on the top, I do want to keep the little muffin cap back blue here because then when we take this big puppy out, we're going to line it up and we're going to shape all three of the cakes out. Alrighty, so we are going to take a bowl, something that doesn't make a giant circle, but something that is going to make a nice even circle. Circle. I'm gonna place the bowl right there. I'm gonna take my knife and carefully cut right Ooh. around. It's gonna create a nice, beautiful, perfect circle. Perfect circles are pretty hard to do. Remember? Literally. I used to like practice how to make perfect circles in like art class. Where you like swing your arm around? Yeah, I was trash. All right, here we go. We gotta be <laughs> smart. Take this out. Boom. All right. Now, some of you might think that we're just gonna take this out, but no, we don't want it. To screw it up, so we're actually gonna oh. dig this cake out first a little bit. That cake can come right here. So I'm glad. All right, now we have a perfect, perfect cake with a nice ring on it. You're gonna move it over. Oh Boom. my god, that fit. What we now want to do 
Before we fill this guy up with our icing, eh? we actually want to take the big dirty piece of cake out. Ooh. Now this is going to be a tough one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we can't screw this one you gotta up. You got to do, you got to commit. You got to commit to the flip. You got to commit to the flip. Oh, oh my God. It's a oh. big dirty piece of cake. Oh, oh. You got to be smart here. You got to be smart. You got to flip, you got to commit. Oh. Commit to the flip. Yeah. Perfect flip. What we want to do is take one of these tins. Now, oh. essentially, this is gonna line up perfectly, but the actual cupcake itself, it comes on a little curved vibe. So, what we wanna do is actually take this, um, we wanna take the smaller pan with the bigger cake, and what we now wanna do is cut diagonally. All right, you see these diagonal vibe. So first step, what I'm gonna do here, guys, is I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna score it very, very gently, right around the top, and don't worry about messing up the top because we are gonna cover it with chocolate. So, we can use this as a little, all right, there's our little perimeter that we're gonna use. Now, what we could do here is start taking this chocolate and carving it diagonally, just like so, boom. That is my top layer, right? We got the top layer vibing. We carved out the little diagonal shape on the side. Now, what we wanna do, we have the double layer already. As you guys can see, we have our hole, we have our top piece. What we now want to do is grab the icing. Once we have our icing, what we then want to do is grab everything that we made. Now I have a nice big old spatula. Oh my God. Here. Jeez. Bro, it looks like a nice volcano. That's what I just said. Is that like a, I was agreeing. <laughs> we got to take the top part and put it on the middle part, all right? So I need your help at home. I need you guys to slap that like button right now. All right, folks, so courtesy of Jado, we have a nice pizza peel that will help oh. us. All right, I think we got it. Oh, now, perfect. On top. Perfect, bro. Jeez. Let's go. Vibes. Bro, Jeez. you, you can do some little machete, machete exactly. touch-ups. Now, you grab this guy. <laughs> Shit, bro. The final touches to our DIY giant hostess cupcake is obviously the chocolate top with the white swirl, yeah. It's so close. So close, we're almost there. So, I already have my water boiling. I'm gonna go melt down some chocolate so I can pour it on top of this guy. So let's not waste any more time. Classic bongo technique, we got the double boiler alert. We got our chocolate, it is nice and melted. Now, I gotta oh. be careful when I drizzle this. You ready for this, Jetta? Oh. Here we go, start in the middle. Oh. Work our way around. Oh yeah. Give me that chocolate vibe. Now, we just wait for this guy to cool down for a little bit, and then we can put our white iconic icing stripe on the top, and then it is our favorite time of the video, the taste test time. Alrighty guys, so for the final touch on our DIY giant hostess cupcake, we need the white swirl. So here we go. Oh. I'm gonna start on this side. I'm going nice and thick with this guy. Oh yeah, baby. Nice little swirl. And, oh, some vibes. Here we go, boys. Going across the Ooh. entire. That looks exactly like it. Come on. See that nice connect the dot vibes? And I think I might end it right there. That's where I should have. Vibe! And voila, there it is, guys. A DIY Ooh. giant hostess cupcake. As you guys can see, we got the cake vibes. We got the marshmallow inside, we got the icing on top, Jed. Now, we gotta cut into this bad boy and we gotta see if it tastes like the real thing. The taste test time, it's our favorite time. So, Jado. Here. How are we going about this? Holy. We're just gonna cut it right into it, right? Yeah, cut a piece. All right, here we go, folks. And I'm trying to get some of the marshmallow as well. So I'm gonna cut oh. a semicircle. Here we go, folks. Oh yeah. Feel fresh. Oh, that's a nice, huge piece. Huge All piece. Right. Yeah. Oh. oh! Some vibes! Look at this side! Oh Bob. my god! Alright, alright. This has to go on the side here. And yo, we gotta dig into this bad boy. We Let's gotta start go. watching this ASAP. Alrighty, like I said, I am not wasting any time. I'm actually just gonna dig into it with my hands, bro. Here oh. we go. I'm grabbing some cake. I'm grabbing some oh icing. Oh my god. I'm grabbing a little chocolate. I'm making a little cupcake vibe. Mmm. Mmm. 
Mmm. Delicious. That's a banger. I need to eat all of this. Oh, look at it oozing out, bro. The marshmallow vibe is so good. Yo, yo, you guys need to come I need try to try this. this. I need to try this. This is amazing. Oh my god. All right, guys, all right. let's try this out. Oh. Mm. 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 Deliciousness. The baker's man. The Some vibes. The marshmallow's a vibe. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Bro, I need to finish this. I want so a good. little, little bite. Okay, fine. A triangle, because, you know, Illuminati. <laughs> what? Bro, this is amazing. Some oh, vibes! Bro, you try it. Bro. Mm. These guys are going back for the finger licking good. Mm. Finger licking good, bro. I'm in. Oh. I'm having this tomorrow. No! <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Vibes! What's that? Vibes! Alrighty, guys, there it was a DIY giant hostess cupcake. Yeah, as you guys can see, it turned out to be very big, very dirty, a little bit messy, and by a little bit, I mean a lot. So, if you guys are gonna make this at home, just make sure you guys clean up after yourselves and I promise you, your parents will love you forever. Huge, huge, huge shout out to my boys for helping me out with today's video. Please go check out their channels. Huge shout out to Chat with the J and Dr. Hobbs. Here. I will leave a link to both of their channels at the very top of my description. Leave a comment every future DIY that you guys would like to see on this channel. And, and hey, your idea of mine just make, make it. Make it. <laughs> Again, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And until next, next time, time, take, take it easy. It's Bong Easy. easy.